All right. I think this one... Yeah, this one does not lead where I want to go. So we'll go down here. I think this is the one that has the double jump. Yes. Oh no, chain jumps! We don't care about you. Uh, this is gonna get a touch harder, I'm just saying. Uh, knew this was gonna happen. <laughs> Okay, so. There we go. All right. Well, unfortunately, we're poisoned, so we'll do the slow walk for at least a little bit. Because now I can double jump. So it doesn't matter that much. Cool. So, where does this go? Oh. Hmm. What the heck is in here? What is with all of these weird wheels? Oh, I can't do anything with them. I think they're plot crucial, but I can't remember what we do with them. Okay, well, at least we know that these are here. Okay, time to go through this gauntlet again. Da, 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 da. Oh, jeez, really? <laughs> okay, we gotta get out of here now. No! Ah! Boom! All right, cool. So let's let's just get out of this mine. Dang it! Yeah, of course. Now it's like triple the poisonous mushrooms. Of course. Why are you making this so hard for me, game? Oh, is there anything in that treasure? It's a memory box. Okay. Boom, boom, come on! We just gotta go back to where we came. All right, so now we can just go back. We don't actually have to do the circle anymore, Alex, because now we can double jump. <laughs> I said now that we, we can, can double, double jump. jump. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Here, I was hoping that this was going to go easier, but no! <laughs> By the way, Alex, you'll be so proud of me. Oh, why? I finally got around to watching another anime. Oh, yeah? What? I did. I finished the uh, first season of One Punch Man. Of One Punch Man? One Punch Man. One Punch! And yes, you and uh, I believe it was Rising Sun was telling me to watch it. I wasn't telling you to watch it. Probably just Rising Sun. Probably just, okay, probably just Rising Sun. Oh my gosh, it is freaking hilarious. Like, it's, it's, I always thought it was just a superhero anime, but no, it, uh, I think it was Rising Sun that told me, no, it's like a satire, because it makes fun of it as well, and holy crap, it's hilarious. That's good. Just because of the, the circumstances around it. I really like it. I might wait on season two though, because season two is still only sub. But there you go. I've watched a new anime. People can be so happy with me. I'm finally getting around to things. Oh, geez. Okay.
Well, I don't know about season two because uh, season two changed over from studios, so mm -hmm. a lot of people are saying the show really went down in quality as a result. Oh, I hadn't heard that. Okay, well, but I I'll check know. it out. I'm not watching it, so I don't know. Yeah, I have no problem checking it out because it, it might still be funny to me. I, I at least like the first season and, and the jokes that they were trying to tell. Okay. Well, unfortunately, there's not really a whole lot else that we can do, uh, at least for the moment. But we've also kind of run out of time. So, uh... Welcome. Make yourself at home. When we come back, we'll probably have some other crisis that we have to take care of in Grillin Village. Oh yeah, I'm sure we will. And left. that'll lead us further down the plot of Brave Fencer Musashi. Well, guys, I'm here, and I'm going to be auditioning for for the next position of Goggle Kid on the next Digimon. <laughs> You're already am a I, Digimon. Am I, am I ready? Is this going to work? Can I have Agumon now? <laughs> oh. Welcome back, everybody. So, last time we, we got the Water Scroll, we took on its Crest Guardian, so now that is freed. And now we're just trying to figure out what our next mission is, and... I feel like kind of a dunce because I said so early on uh, when we started playing this game, the default way of figuring out what you're doing that uh, I'm kind of surprised that I didn't think of it when we last played. And that is going to the mayor's house because the mayor's house usually, usually always states if we have a problem to solve or not. So we're going to do that first, but unfortunately we have to wait for everybody to wake up. Knock, knock. Yep, nobody's awake yet. 6 a.m. I totally understand. So let's just sleep away a few hours. This is apparently going to work out for us, too. Boom! Okay, 50%. There we go. Oh, it's the mayor's wife. Why, hello there, Musashi. You came just at the right time. Mayor Govan caught a cold and is resting in bed. Aw. Would you like to be the mayor for a while? Oh, is this a Boy, good idea? Why would I? Is this a good idea? Sure. <laughs> huh? The mayor? My dream good job. job. <laughs> really? That's wonderful. Well, actually, you'd be his assistant. Darn it. No. Oh. Let's see. Your first job is extremely important. Everyone's lives depend on this. Lives? Do you mean the dried up well? I fixed it before coming here. Dear me, what a good boy. That must be why that rope disappeared. Yeah, because it'd be dangerous if someone tried to go down into that well. While I was down there, I saw the thieves that stole the bell, but they ran away. Oh, how dreadful. Lately, there are so many unfortunate incidents. Well, are you ready for your next assignment? Okay. Well, let's see. Mr. Lance has been complaining about getting the gondola fixed for quite some time now. So let's fix it. Sure, sure no problem. What am I supposed to do? Okay. Mayor Govan said that we need three carpenters and a gondola gizmo. Once we have them, the gondola can be fixed. <sighs> three carpenters? I'll ask the geezer at the palace, but how do I get a gondola gizmo? I heard that there are some gondola gizmos in the scrap depository in the mine. Scrap depository? Like a garbage dump? Wid, the man living in the windmill, knows about the gondola gizmos. You should ask him. But first, you should talk to the carpenters. Good luck. I'm counting on you. All right, so that's our next assignment. We need to fix the gondola. So thankfully, we already have all three carpenters. And if I remember correctly, they give hints as to what the gondola gizmo looks like. And strangely enough, we've been where the gizmos are. So, but you remember that there was like three or four of them. So you have to know like which one to get. Otherwise, you're going to have to go all the way back. So let's go visit. And I think the carpenters will give you a hint. Hello. Hey, geezer, I have to find the three carpenters in order to fix the gondola. Thou art will, thou art will help fix the gondola? How goodeth of thou? Our food provisions have been on the decrease since the gondola broketh down. Let's see. 
You already saved Carpenter Carvey, Carpenter QB, and Carpenter Dicey. They all doth be here. Ask the three carpenters and then go looketh for the gondola gizmo. When they receive the gizmo, they'll begin preparations to fix the gondola. Anything else, Sir Masashi? Uh, I came to visit my friends, so first of all, let's visit with the carpenters and see what the uh, what the hints are. So here's Carpenter Carby. Gondola gizmo? Well, I remember that the rim is gold and it looked fancy. Okay, so the rim is gold. Okay, so Carpenter B. This one I think was you, Alex, so why don't you take it? Gondola gizmo, it looks like a wheel. Thanks, appreciated. So it's got a gold rim and it looks like a wheel. Okay, and then, uh, oh no, not mercenary, damn it. Great, I think, uh, thanks for saving me. Did you hear about the thieves? We've been investigating the situation. If you need to hear about them, I may be able to help you. Okay. But we don't need to know about those guys just yet. Uh, we need Carpenter C. And his enormous 2x4. Gondola Gizmo? The, gu the Gizmo has carefully calculated holes. I think there are four. All right, so gold rim, wheel, four holes. All right, that'll do. Anything else, Sumu Sashi? Done. Take us care on your journey. I love you, Riz Ribson. All right, so now back into the mine to go and get the Gondola Gizmo. Now it is even with the hints, it is still technically a, uh, you're still able to get the wrong one, and then you have to go back and get another one. Right. So we'll. Uh, if we have to do that, we'll probably magic cut until we get the 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 second one. But I think we'll be okay. So off into the mine we go. And while we're making our way there, I just actually had a quick question for Alex. Okay. Have have you by chance watched uh Shin Godzilla since it came out? Uh, the Ray. no, I've been meaning to buy it, but I never seem to actually commit to buying it for some reason. So I've ha I have it. And we, uh, so me and Andrea just barely watched it last night. Yeah. And so it, it had been a while since I had seen it. And first of all, I, I gotta say this. The dub is weird. <laughs> bad. Not weird in a bad way. It's just some of the performances, and I don't know if it's intentional or not. Uh, some of the performances are kind of stale, especially from from actors like Chris Sabat, who is just playing like regular boring old dude, <laughs> and it almost comes off as like stale for him. I, I guess it's just because most of the performances I've ever seen him in, he's a bombastic character. Yeah, usually. Yeah. Groffer is bombastic. Yeah, and so at that point they they had him like, um, well he had a couple of roles in there, and all of them he was just like. And uh, we should totally take care of Godzilla this way, and then we can move on to our next objective. It's like, what the frick? What's really funny is that the only one that had uh, personality was the the main guy, the one that was like trying to spearhead the effort against Godzilla. Right. Who is played by Todd Haberkorn. Oh wow, cool. And and at that point, it was it was kind of cool to see him playing. Not not a bombastic character, but like an aggressive politician, and it came across pretty well. But Andrea got so annoyed at me last night <laughs> when when uh, somebody would talk and be like, "And there's one actor from Full Metal Alchemist, and there's two actors from Full Metal Alchemist, and there's one actor from My Hero Academia, and now there's three from Full Metal Alchemist," and I just kept going, and she's like, "I don't care." <laughs> Uh, of course I get poisoned. There we go. The other thing that I, I, I couldn't avoid, but uh, I had to deal with was, again, it, ha it had been a while since I had seen a lot of the stuff in that movie. Yeah. And so I, I was ready for some of it. 
because I knew it was going to be a lot. Of, it was going to be a talky movie. Yeah. But <laughs> I forgot about uh, Bug Eyed Godzilla. <laughs> yeah. And as soon as he came up on screen, it was uh, I, I giggled. I, I actually busted up laughing because and, and that was bad. Why? Because <laughs> so we put our youngest in in our bedroom with us while she tries to get to sleep. Yeah. So we put her in a little uh, baby swing and put in some white noise and just let her go to sleep. Then then bug eyed Godzilla comes up and I just bust out laughing. I, I couldn't stop myself and I woke her up. Oh, oh. No. OK, Found it. this could be the gondola gizmo. Here's the thing that I'm worried about. This is it for sure. So there's technically two with four holes. Pretty heavy. Can't wait to show the geezer. <laughs> there's technically two with four holes and they both have gold rims. So we might have to do a second trip, but I hope I got the, the right one first off. So without further ado, let's uh, let's keep going here. And then, of course, when when you had the first bit of uh, the Evangelion soundtrack come up, oh, yeah. geez, that was a giggle worthy moment, too. I'm like, oh, yeah, I forgot that that Otto did that. <laughs> oh, my gosh. And now he's good. Do, do we know if there's going to be a sequel to Shin Godzilla? Uh, I don't think we do, no. I don't. Because this was supposed to be a reboot of Godzilla, wasn't it? I keep... I don't know. I keep hearing two different things. I keep hearing, like, nope, nope, because uh, Legendary Godzilla or whatever. I also... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what Toho's really doing with it. I wish they'd kind of figure it out, because I, I technically would like to see more uh, Godzilla films like this just to see like what direction Anno and his uh, co-director will go with it. Right. But I also do like the, the legendary Godzilla movie. I haven't seen King of the Monsters yet, but from what I've been told, I'm going to like it. So that's why I'm... I'm well, and that then they've got the uh, Godzilla anime too, which yeah. I think has like three movies on Netflix. I still need to get around to seeing that movie, actually, or that's because I think there are a bunch of OVAs. Still need to see it. Dude, I hate having poison. Of course. Ah, I hate having poison. You are so slow. Oh, oh, no, can't do that. I almost killed myself. And that would have sucked. Okay, that'll work. We need to get out of here so we can see if this is the right gondola gizmo. Boink. Boink. Ow. Ow. See, even the double jump can't save me when I'm moving like this. Unfortunately, we don't have any antidotes. We really don't have many items. Yes, unfortunately, I was not able to go and grind items or grind money. Oh, Adam. I will. I will find time. There we go. Boom. Okay. All right, so now we're out in the main area, so all we gotta do is just get the heck out of here. Oh, it does not help that I'm also tired. Well, let's at least take care of the tired. Um, there we go. Just got to jump my way back. Uh, uh, uh. By Gruntfest right now. 
Okay, so we are back in the village, but unfortunately it is nighttime. So we can't really think. I don't think we can talk to the gondola operator just yet. I don't even know if it's him we're supposed to talk to. It might be the carpenters, but let's go up to the gondola and see if maybe somebody's there. Oop, doo, doo, doo. This will be helpful because then with the gondola, we get actually a whole other area, I think, to explore. That would be a, a seriously helpful thing. It might be the carpenters that I need to talk to. Oh, come on. It's too early. Okay. We're just going to sleep this out. Benny Hill music. Hmm. <laughs> 